Hello everybody, it's me, Brokusatsu, and, oops, sorry, sorry about that, and, uh, whew. today, we are here, well, I'm here today to review the Hasbro Power Ranger Lightning Collection, Dino Charge uh, Black Ranger, or Kiryu Black, if you want, Kiryu First, I'll get that away. This guy is a this guy is a Target exclusive. Let me say this. Uh, this guy came out two years ago, by the way, and I missed out when he, when he appeared on Target. I went to my Target like every day, somewhat didn't find him. I went to a different Target and found him, but I didn't have the money on me back then to get him. Sadly, still regret still regret that. But yeah, but uh. Last year, before, last year and last day, I went on eBay and uh, I bought this guy. <laughs> he came, he came in the beginning of this of the year, of well, this year, twenty twenty two. So, yeah. Also, I hope you also my bad. I hope you guys like the new uh, background because this is. <laughs> This 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 is gonna be the new background for now on for all my reviews. So yeah, okay. Let's go on to the figure. So color scheme wise, it looks it looks really good. Scope wise, as well suit accuracy as well. Again, then the morpher isn't the not the morpher the morpher isn't uh not morpher the belt is incorrect though, and he and he not had to paint it. <laughs> Gloves like Don Charge Red, Gandan, Hasbro, it's just. They don't care for Power Rangers, they are explained many times. So let's go on to articulation wise. Here's how far he goes for that. Here's how far he goes. This is for leg articulation. You could you could do like uh well how I say it? you could do like some crazy poses with this guy. Also I didn't say he relaxed with you, but if you guys wanna watch like Q Uger, Junior said that Q Uger, someone upload like every <laughs> episode YouTube, you have you have guts for doing that, by the way, whoever you are. But yeah. Also, go watch Enchanto because that, that movie is just wholesome. So anyway, here he is. We, you can you can give him any pose you want to. I say I say give me this pose because why not? <laughs> Choo. Did 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 sorry. We got him doing like a little whoa, good job, kick, chicken. But yeah, a uh, scope by articulation by he's pretty good. I see like no copy of my I see no problem with my copy. Well, yeah, just like with down charge green, he has a dent. Uh, see, what's what's up with Hasbro doing that to the belts? He has a dent in the belt, and it's like a little uh, smudge right there. So yeah. Overall, how is it like? How is his accessories? Well, we're gonna we're, we're gonna get onto his accessories because oh boy, his accessories. So here we have the down charge saber. By the way, you can see that the pain. You see that the pain. But it's a oh my bad. You can see that the uh, that the pain is coming off a little bit. Yeah, that's because his sword isn't fully painted like Riley's. Uh, I don't <laughs> Hasbro. You got Hasbro. You gotta work on that because these weapons have the worst paint rubs ever. My figure, my copy LC figure have this fun disconnected helmets. Dysfunctional joints and horrible leg articulation. 
And these weapons should not be that hard for them to paint. What the heck? Oh my god. It looked it looked like the sword from the actual show and no, all, but I'm just Hasbro, you, you guys really you guys really dropped the ball. That's just disappointing. So here it is with his down charge blaster. I do I do up to, to be honest. For, for every picture you're gonna see of this guy, you're gonna see him holding his gun because Ian and Chase and both perspective versions are the gun real are the gun reeling blaster men. <laughs> they never miss a shot. <laughs> Find out while yet funny now yet they're both ladies, man. <laughs> the, <laughs> you know what I mean if you watch Down Charge and Kill Uger. They never miss a shot. Lol, that that's funny. That just uh <laughs> That's just funny. All right. And here we have, we have his uh, palm hand you can use for the blaster. And his fist hand you can make him punch someone in the face or any monster. I do want Donald Charge Dino. I do want like a collection Donald Charge of villains. Because I have my Bandai America figure of Fury. That figure did not look that good. <laughs> but what I'm saying, he's five inch, so of course. Here we go. Here we have the effect. Last time supply, yeah, this effect has not been used in any LC figure except for this one. You can use this for his uh, blaster, for the pair chop, for the pair blaster, pair chopper blast. Low. Don't have the armor on, so yeah. You can use it for this. And here we have, uh, well, Chase's actor. Not gonna lie, they look just like the guy. He's handsome too, so. <laughs> cool though, Hasbro, you did pretty good with it. So let's, so, let's get, so let's go on with size comparison with this guy because we have we, we don't have a lot to compare with, but yeah, we're gonna try anyway, because why not? Here he is with uh with the rest of the Dino Charge Rangers. So that's Kiryu Here he is with uh Kiryu Red. My jokes dry. I'm gonna drink water after this. Kiryu uh, Green, which I reviewed last time on my channel. Oh, if you're not watching my review, please go watch it. I did like a little rant, calling out a uh, has blow for the bull crap. You got see the hats, but I'm calling you guys out on your bull crap. Here he is with our key your gold. Uchi! <laughs> ah, that's good. Yeah, overall. The team's one's complete. I just need uh blue and pink, but pink's coming out this year. And has blow, you better not mess, you better not mess up that figure. Just saying. But I just say it is. She's not coming with a sword. So I think I know. So I think I know. So I think I know who I'm getting this sword to when when her figure comes out. So here he is with uh, the SA Figure Arts. I'm sorry. Here he is with the SA Figure Arts Kamen Rider Zeo, Grand Zeo. I really did my review on this guy because I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of stuff to say about this guy. Oh boy. Here he is with uh with Jaw Old Dragon. I look by Ray. Want to say this? Shout out to my good friend Inferno, who said because last year he did a review on Caliber, and he said that, and he said that he won't be doing he won't begin the figure. Won't be doing a review on the figure because he, he gave me a shout out on, on his channel. Go sub go sub to the guy. I really do my review on Jaw Old Dragon over here, but I'm gonna wait till his. I'm gonna wait till the SHF upgrade cape gets here. So yeah, because this cape right here is garbage. I hate it. So yeah. All right, let's move. Uh, let's move this the other way. Here he is with the lightning collection. 
Beast Morpher Blue or Blue or Blue Buster. If if you talk me talk me Sentai Go Buster, you know what I mean. Um, Blue Buster, Yellow Buster, Busters, ready go! I love Go Buster. Go Busters, ready go! <laughs> Here he is for Ultraman Z base form. Mr. Chant My Name. I love this figure. <laughs> and here he is with the SA Figure Arts Kamen Rider Assault Vulcan. Alright. So, what do I think overall? Overall, this guy's a good figure. I'm not happy about the uh about the pain apps that Hasbro has been doing to him to these figures. What well, I'm saying, Hasbro not gonna stop with that. They're not gonna, because here's the thing. Hasbro's gonna treat Hasbro treat Marvel Legends like 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 a like a golden boy, okay? Like like a golden boy and a newborn baby. Lightning collection figures. And my dog's barking. <laughs> they get treated like crap. So that's all for today. Hope, hope you guys, hope, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. Put the notification, put the notification on. See you guys another time. I gotta, I gotta go take care of my dog. Ciao. All alone, can face in twilight alone.